HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to fill you in with the latest happenings in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, the Board of Selectmen gave proclamations to five Eagle Scouts, we have the latest in Hiller Sports, and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. On Thursday afternoon, there was a bit of a scare at Hopkinton High School. Students and staff were sheltered in place and dismissed early after a single round of ammunition was found in a common area. In these photos, you can see some media trucks on the scene, and authorities have since cleared the scene. According to a statement put out by police, Hopkinton police responded with the assistance of Massachusetts State Police environmental police, Worcester police, and WPI, and searched the entire school. After a thorough search, there were no weapons or additional ammunition found. The statement also reads, there is no reason to believe the weapon was actually on school grounds. You can view the full statement on our website, hcam.tv. The New England Patriots are going back to the Super Bowl this will be their third Super Bowl in the past four years and eighth Super Bowl overall for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Right now you are looking at footage of the send-off rally that took place just outside Gillette Stadium. Here is a look at the send-off festivities. Of this team is remarkable once again. I know you, a lot of you had to come very early from far distances, taking time out from work and some from right. school. It's great to have you with us. It's been an amazing journey. Not done yet. It's been fun. Five years with this guy. We're going to call our third Super Bowl. Who's going to Minnesota? One thing to remember when you get out there, you're not Philly fans, right? You're not going to fight, not get drunk. We might get drunk, but that's okay. We've got to stay hydrated. Hey, we're pumped. We're excited. It's fun to call games for this team, offense, defense, special teams. Going back to the beginning of the year, remember, no Julian Edelman. People thought this offense was done. Dante Hightower goes down. Multiple injuries. This next guy up mentality, this team's not done. It was one more last year. Bigger, better each and every year. Thanks for coming out today. Uh, really appreciate your support. Uh, you guys were great last Sunday. It was awesome. And uh, for those of you that are going to Minnesota, we'll see you there. Uh, <laughs> For those of you that aren't, uh, I know you're going to be cheering your hearts out back here, and we'll see you Monday. Listen, thank you guys for your support all year. It's been an incredible journey. we got one more to go. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of hard work. We're playing a great team, but I'll tell you what, we got a locker room full of guys that are ready for the challenge. Obviously can't bring you all to Minnesota with us. Maybe some of you can come, but you guys are with us. We know that, you know that, we all know that. Patriot Nation stronger than ever. We got one more to go. We're gonna go out there and try to win it for you guys. And that's all we got. We love you, Patriots out! Best of luck to the New England Patriots in Minnesota. Hopefully they will be able to grab ring number six against the Philadelphia Eagles. Both the Hiller boys and girls basketball teams are inching closer to a playoff spot, while the boys hockey team has clinched a playoff spot but looking to up their seeding by adding some wins. Here is a look at the latest in Hiller sports. 
On Friday, January 26, the Hopkinton boys took on Norton. Junior guard Ben McKenzie was a force to be reckoned with, dropping 21 points and 5 assists. Luke DeLoya also pitched in with 10 points and 8 rebounds for the Hillers. Hopkinton took the win over Norton 65-46. The Hillers improved to 8-6 on the season with the win and are just two wins away from a playoff spot. The Hillers boys have now won five straight games. On Tuesday, January 30th, the Hopkinton girls grabbed a 61-35 win over Westwood. Senior forward Ivy Goglin netted 16 points in the victory. Reagan Caveney also put up 16 points for the Hillers. The Hopkinton girls improved to 10-4 on the season. The Hillers girls officially clinch a playoff spot with the win. On Saturday, January 27th, Hopkinton boys hockey battled Medfield. With a scoreless game in the first period, 2.39 left, a glass shattering hit was delivered. In the corner. Oh, glass just broke over there. Ooh, wow. Well, it was uh, Matt Lindquist and Foley going at it, and they must have slammed that glass pretty hard. Let's see, we're going to have a stoppage here for a little cleanup. The game would stop for about a half hour while they fixed the glass. They then pretty much went right into the second period. And in that second period, everything just went Medfield's way. Three goals for the Warriors in the second, and it was 3-0 Medfield heading into the final 15 minutes. Now Medfield with an opportunity here. It's quickly coming down is Abley. Abley wrists that one, and that's another Medfield goal. Three goals in the second period. A top shelf that one. In the third period, Will Abbott delivered a couple goals. Abbott. Back to the blue line. Connor Delaney with a nice shot there on the go. rebound. There's a Hiller's goal. Will Abbott. In the right place at the right time. That one off the post and right onto Abbott's stick. By Abbott. Ten seconds left. Rister goal. Nice shot. Abbott says, eh, why not? I'll get another point. That's his second goal of the night. Up to 29 points overall on the season. Hillers fall to Medfield 5-2 with the win. Medfield improved to 9-2-2 two two on the season, while the Hillers fell to 10 wins, 2 losses, and a tie. Coming up next on HCAM News, we'll take you to Hiller Girls Basketball Senior Night. The Board of Selectmen recognized five Eagle Scouts and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more on the way. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Hello, my name is Rick Flannery, and I am the chair of the Center School Reuse Advisory Team. With the upcoming opening of the Marathon Elementary School in the fall of 2018, the Board of Selectmen formed the Center School Reuse Advisory Team to explore the future of Center School. We will recommend a plan for the Center School building and property that will provide outside viewpoints on its use and development. This plan will outline the community's vision, your vision, for the future use of the property and produce recommendation for the board's consideration. Here at HCAM, they have asked you, what would you do if someone gave you a television station? The Center School Reuse Advisory Team is asking, what would you do with a school building? Please come and share your vision for the future of Center School with us at the first public forum on Saturday, February 3rd, 2018 at 10 a.m. at the Hopkins Senior Center. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you there. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hopkinton Hiller girls basketball team hosted senior night festivities this past Tuesday prior to their game with Westwood. Here is a look at Hopkinton girls basketball recognizing their six senior players. Give a big thank you to Mike Terosian and all the folks over at HCAM who do a great job all year videotaping and broadcasting our games. I want to make sure to thank Jerry Spar, the HBA, and all the HBA coaches who have let us 
be a part of their seasons this year. I want to make sure I thank the Hopkins and Boosters Club for their support, not only this year, but, but every season. A big thank you to our athletic department, in particular Lou Sanborn, Chip Collins, and D. King for all the work they do behind the scenes. Thank you to our athletic trainer, Jeanette Emerson. We definitely more than keep you busy all year. Thank you to our administrative team, Evan Bishop, Josh Hanna, Justin Pominville. Our custodial staff and maintenance staff for getting the gym ready on game day and cleaning up afterwards. They do a phenomenal job. Thank you to the Hopkinton Hoop Band, who's been here several times this season. And big thank you to the cheerleaders as well for their continued support. And thank you to everybody who has worked the scoring table, the shot clock throughout the season. Uh, everything always runs smoothly and, and it makes it a lot easier for us. I want to say welcome to Westwood, the players and their fans. I want to say congratulations to your seniors and your accomplishments over the last four years. It has been a pleasure coaching against you and competing against the program that always does everything the right way. So we salute you. And I want to call up the seniors, Caroline Bean, Amanda Nocera, <laughs> Allie Fleischer, Lizzie Kelly, and Gabby Heaney Secord. Heaney Secord. Practice that before the game, too. Uh, now on to Hopkinton. Uh, first, I want to make sure we thank our senior manager who's done a great job with the book all year, Molly Birchman. And now on to our senior players. First is senior Kate Hubner, greeted by her parents Martha and Jeff, and her brother Will. Come on out to half court here, Kate. Next is senior Callie Corby, greeted by her father, Mike. Next is senior Liz Liberta, her parents, Patty and Doug, and brother, Danny. <laughs> Elizabeth Liberta. Next is senior Marissa Prawl, greeted by her parents, Cindy and Jeff, and her brother, Greg. Next is senior captain Ivy Gogolin, greeted by her parents Carolyn and Brian, sister Dana, and grandparents. And last but not least, senior captain Regan Caveney, her parents Katie and Don, and brother Aiden.
At this past week's Board of Selectmen meeting, five Boy Scouts become Eagle Scouts were recognized for their community service. Here's a look. The Hopkinton Board of Selectmen congratulated five Boy Scouts who achieved the rank of Eagle Scout. Okay, this is, a, this is our favorite time of the year when these go up. And actually, the one great thing about Hopkinton is we do this several times a year. Um, the Board of Selectmen will consider proclamations for Eagle Scouts for Troop 1. This is such a great town. I mean, we have so many Eagle Scouts. We owe so much to the parents and to the troops. Um, how we, we can produce them, it's just incredible. I'm just so happy to do this one. Okay, so we've got uh, George Daniel Bradbury, Joseph Harrison, Gabriel Lopez, and Zachary Ritterbush. We as a community are extremely proud, which is why we do this. We know your parents are proud and we know your troop leaders are proud, and we're glad they're all here tonight, too. Uh, I just congratulate all of you. Job well done, and uh, Hopkinton is for the better because of you and your parents and all that you've done for our community. Thank you. Uh, they've needed to learn and, and demonstrate commitment, trustworthiness, love of country, persistence, loyalty, strength, all the qual qualities that we, we want to see in our leaders. Each of the five Eagle Scouts talked about the major project they worked on to benefit the community. So, uh, my name is Zach Ritterbush. Uh, my project was over at College Rock down Route 85 towards Milford. Uh, it consisted of replacing the benches that were in the College Rock rock climbing area and also refurbishing the trail sign post as well as scrubbing graffiti off the rock wall face. Um, and uh, printing out some trail maps <coughs> and large size trail maps for the trail sign. Uh, that was the essence of the project. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Barnes of the Conservation Commission for helping me out with the project and, and representing the Conservation Commission, giving me the opportunity. Great. My project was over, uh, it was called Wiley Woods Project. Um, it was over by Franklin Road. Um, on the way to Ashland. Uh, it consisted of installing two benches, uh, a 15-foot bridge, and um, trail clearing. Um, two people I'd like to thank were my dad and um, Karen Bo uh, Bograd. They both helped me a significant amount throughout the process. So. I'm Nate Shingleton, in, uh, Faith Community Church in Hopkinton. I, uh, in the parking lot, I replaced all these uh, dead trees and plants these little islands in between the parking lot spaces to make it look nicer and uh, to help the greeting of new people. So we just replaced all those with ones that would live there and not die in the future. Replaced all the new mulch, put new grass in. I'd like to thank uh, Peter Mesit down at um, Western Nurseries in Oppington for uh, donations and uh, helping us plan everything out. I'm Gabriel Lopez. Um, my project was on Carl Martin Trail trail um mainly it was of clear clearing up the trail of brush to make um to meet um hopkinton area land trust um they own the trail so to meet the requirement it has to be arm's length of cutting the brush to make sure that you can actually see the trail we also had had to install two um replace one bench and then install a brand new one um it wasn't that bad but we also had to <laughs> we also had to install a 12 foot 12 foot bridge remo remove the old one because if you step on it you'll fall through but we well we put a brand new one on top and some of these guys actually help, helped me in my project and we also had to um fix one more small small foot bridge we just had to replace one bore on it because it was like cracked in half through the middle, but overall, um, the biggest challenge was weather-wise because every single day it was raining, which was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to th thank my parents back here, Domingo and Mercedes. Um, they helped me so so much with it that I actually cannot thank them enough. And also like to thank Jeff Ferber for from Hopkinton Area Land Trust. He was. He was the guy that gave me the opportunity to do it. 
Hi, my name is uh, Joe Harrison, and uh, my project was down by Lake Whitehall here in Hopkinton. Um, I decided to create a new picnic area near the boat ramp uh, where families can uh, picnic, and I created a couple benches along the trail as well, uh, one of which being dedicated to a classmate of mine, uh, Brad, who passed away this past year. Um, it was a great project. I got a lot of help, um, especially from the Friends of Whitehall. Uh, they were crucial in helping me get permission from um, the Conservation Committee and all sorts of parts of the town, and uh, as well the, uh, the uh, park rangers were a huge help in helping me plan and, and get everything done. Uh, lastly, I want to thank my dad. He was there every step of the way. So. Thank you. Uh, just by virtue of the fact that you found this goal and you found ways to help out your community and your dedication to the community, it really does make you uh, leaders in your community today. So, uh, you know, we want to thank you and uh, keep up the good work. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Here to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark and here's what's happening this week on HCAM. On Monday, February 5th at 6.30 p.m., Mary McLeod is on the road at the Hopkinton Senior Center in a special episode of Senior View. A lot of these people are, you know, People that have been around town for a long time who who continue to have their friendships and, and yes. everything else here. Yes, yes. And the room will be filled up by noontime, I can tell you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, very good. He did better than I did would. <laughs> and at 7 p.m., the Hopkinton Planning Board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Tuesday, February 6th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers boys basketball team takes on the Dover Sherbin Raiders live on HCAM Ed. On Wednesday, February 7th at 7 p.m., Margie and Lisa are back and invite you to join the conversation on a new episode of the Margie and Lisa Show live on HCAM TV. On Friday, February 9th at 5 p.m., poets and artists gather in a special tribute to poet Peter Neuendorfer on a new episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. Because when he spoke, he spoke with so much articulateness and so much humor at um, his problems that <clears throat> he was like my kind of guy. And uh, I attribute uh, being with Peter for those years uh, a great help to me in uh, my sobriety. And at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers boys basketball team takes on the Medfield Warriors live on HCAM Ed. And also on HCAM Ed, the Hillers ice hockey versus Holliston game will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website to get a glimpse of the new DPW facility and check out the latest happenings throughout our community. If you have a Hopkinton-related video photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and go Patriots!
proud and we love it. Uh, hats off to you guys. I want to introduce one of our, our best players, uh, one of our best teammates, all around leader, Devin McCourty. Thank, thank you guys. Like everybody said, last Sunday was awesome. We appreciate that just to see the energy in the stadium. Uh, it's been great to be a part of this team. Uh, defensively, from where we started to where we are now, uh, just shows the heart of everybody in that locker room. So uh, we're excited. We can't wait to get to Minnesota, see what dress warm. Forget work today, just keep cheering, man. the best fans in sports. We love you guys. How you come out and support us. How you make sure we play great every day. The energy you guys bring. We love it. And most importantly, they got the MVP going to be announced next week. And I think we all know who that is. support all year. It's been an incredible journey. We got one more to go. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of hard work. We're playing a great team, but I'll tell you what, we got a locker room full of guys that are ready for the challenge. And I know we obviously can't bring you all to Minnesota with us. Maybe some of you can come, but you guys are with us. We know that. You know that. We all know that. Patriot Nation stronger than ever. We got one more to go. We're going to go out there and try to win it for you guys. And that's all we got. We love you, Patriots out. Best of luck to the New England Patriots in Minnesota. Hopefully they will be able to grab ring number six against the Philadelphia Eagles.